guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I am back with another Lush Review video. And this time around, I'm bringing to you the Candy Cane Reusable Bubble Bar. Now, you may remember this bubble bar from last year, from Christmas 2020. Um, I'm not sure if it was brand new for 2020. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but they have since reworked it for 2021. As you can see, it is more of a pink color rather than a red color. And this is an updated formula. And yeah, basically a new product, in my opinion, even though it's got the same name and everything, it's quite different to the old one from 2020. So if you do remember the old one from 2020, um, I will be revisiting some of the points I made from that video and some of the things I did not like about it. And um, yeah, I'll tell you if they did or didn't improve with this bubble bar. So let's get right into it. So this bubble bar contains sodium carbonate, cream of tartar, sodium laurel sulfate, glycerine, laurel betine, Sicilian lemon oil, bergamot oil, peppermint oil, and some other little bits and pieces. So as you can probably tell by some of the scent ingredients going on here, first of all, the peppermint oil. Yes, you do get a peppermint scent from this. It is very similar to a candy cane that you would pick up at the shops. Um, you know, quite pepperminty. It's got a sweetness to it as well. It's not super sweet or over the top with the sweetness, but there is a sweetness there. And this is something I definitely noticed when I was using it. There is that little bit of a citrus scent to it. Um, I think it's purely there to freshen it up. It's not like super noticeable or something that you're going to think, oh, this smells really citrusy. No, it's not like that. But there is a definite freshness to it. And there is something that's sort of balancing out that minty kind of smell. So, yeah, it is a little different to a candy cane that you'll pick up in a store. But, you know, not very much. So just that little tiny difference to it. Um, yeah, it just it comes out a little bit more once you use it. As you can see, I've used mine and just smells a little bit more citrusy than it would when you smell it in the shops. Okay, so if you do remember my 2020 review or you have watched it recently, I slammed the 2021 and it was probably my most hated product in the Christmas 2020 range, even more than the roasting on an um, roasting chestnuts on an open fire shower gel, which I did not like. And a lot of you guys really like that shower gel, but I'm sorry, I, I really didn't like it. And a lot of you guys seem to agree with me on the candy cane review. And that kind of shocked me because I thought, oh, God, I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this. But I've got to be honest in my reviews. I'm always 100 percent honest with my experiences. And, yeah, it seemed that a lot of people were having some problems with it and some trouble with it. And I think I ended up rating it a two out of five, um, which I think was pretty generous, to be honest with you. Um, there were a few problems with it. The water itself was not very well colored. It kind of looked like dirty dishwater um, because of the red wasn't like a super strong color. It just it didn't look very good in the water. The bubbles were not very good either. It didn't make many bubbles. And I used quite a lot of the bubble bar. Like I'm talking way more than this. I'm talking well over half of the bubble bar I used and the bubbles were there for maybe five minutes maximum and they all disappeared in the bath. Um, it was not a good experience whatsoever. So it basically failed on those two aspects. It also failed on the scent aspect. The scent was not very strong either. Um, and it just, like I said, it just felt like I was bathing in dishwater kind of. And the scent was like a really mild mint um, with a little bit of a sweetness, but you had to really be sniffing to smell it. You know what I mean? You had to really um, be focusing on it to smell it, which you shouldn't be having to do. So there was definitely some problems in production with this product or something. I don't know the whole story. I don't know. But if you're someone who works at Lush or worked in production, let me know if you know what the problem was because I, I don't know. But anyway, let's start with the scent. They've definitely improved that. The scent was very noticeable. That minty, sweet smell was definitely there. I did get that little hint of citrus as well. Um, but once again, it was mainly the minty, sweet smell. I think they did a really good job with it in that respect. I do see a lot of similarities between this and Maypole soap, which they used to sell, and also the Hey Hollywood bath bomb, which they have for this year's Christmas as well. Pretty similar kind of scent and style of scent. It's sort of like 
It's a little bit on the syrupy sweetness side, but this is more of a sugary sweetness, whereas the maypole slash hay Hollywood scent is more of a syrupy sweetness. That's pretty much the only difference. But I think those two would complement each other. If you're someone who likes to do like bath cocktails and stuff like that, which is not my my scene, but if that's something you enjoy, go for it. Um, I think the candy cane reusable bubble bar with the Hey Hollywood bath bomb would be an awesome mix together. Now, the color. I think the color was better this year. I'm not going to harp on too much about it because um, I did notice the same thing with my cinnamon roll bubble bar. I, it's all dependent on how much you use of the product. Now, I did definitely um, judge the old candy cane because I used well over half of the product and I still didn't get any sort of color that would resemble what the candy cane originally was. So I think that that was a fair judgment and a fair criticism. But as you can see, I didn't really use a lot of the product, so I wouldn't expect it to color the water a lot. Obviously, there was a very light sort of baby pink kind of color to the water. It was quite clear. Um, so, you know, it was all right. You know, there, nothing overly special about the water, but it was way better than the murky dishwater look from last year. And the last point is the bubbles. And as you can see, I didn't use very much of it at all. And I got a really great result with the bubbles. The bubbles were exactly like any of the other bubble bars I've tried this year. Um, they stuck around. They did the job. You know, it did what it's meant to do as a bubble bar, which is make bubbles. Uh, now, for those of you who might be newer to Lush or you might not be familiar with reusable bubble bars and what that exactly means, it is pretty much what it sounds like. It is a bubble bar that you can use multiple times. I would say I may get three to four uses out of this, um, just looking at it and looking at the amount that I've used. But obviously that will depend on the amount of bubbles that you like in your bars. I like, you know, I like a fairly decent amount of bubbles, but I don't like to go overboard with it. I do have a fairly small bathtub. So, you know, there's a lot of factors here. It's the amount of bubbles that you personally like. It's the size of your bathtub. Obviously, if you use this in like a spa tub or something like that, you might even use the whole thing up at once. You know, it's just, it depends on your personal situation. But in a normal sort of bathtub, I would say three to four baths personally. Um, and I, the way I like to use these, I don't like to put them in the water directly like Lush says it doesn't work for me anyway because my tap is away from where my plug is my plug is at the end of the bath whereas the taps are halfway up my bath so that method doesn't work for me to put it under the water because the bath the bubble bar will not sit in the reservoir where it's meant to sit while the tap is pouring down on it so that method doesn't work for me it might work for you Lush says it's meant to work for people. It doesn't work for me because I don't have a bath that's like that. So there we go. But my method is always put it under the tap. Try and point it as evenly as you can. So, for example, I don't focus on one specific point, i.e. I don't focus on that point because then that makes this really skinny and it can break. So I sort of move it around. I, I focus on here and then I focus on there and then I focus on there and then I move it on this side and I just try and cover it as evenly as I possibly can. If I can see that an area is starting to get a little bit thinner than another area, I just move it around until I'm satisfied with the amount of bubbles. And then I have a dish of some description on the side of my tub. I pop it in the dish or on top of the dish and let it drain and yeah, let it dry out naturally. Uh, and that's pretty much how I use reusable bubble bars or bubble bars that I know I'll have spares of anyway. So that's my method of it. So overall, my thoughts on this bubble bar. I think it is night and day compared to the uh, version of 2020. I think if you see that one up for um, sale, I wouldn't recommend purchasing it. I think you're better off just buying the 2021 version. Um, and yeah, like I said, pretty easy to tell them apart. The old one is red. This one is pink, like a snow fairy kind of color. So yeah, definitely buy this one. Don't buy the 2021. Um, yeah, and I definitely recommend this bubble bar. Is it my favorite bubble bar I've tried from Lush? No, it's definitely not. But it's overall a pretty good bubble bar and I do recommend it. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. Um, I do think the scent could be a little 
more intense, but I think the strength of scent was still pretty good. I think that the bath water could be improved on a little bit, uh, but look, still way better than last year's and still a very decent product. So there you go. So if you want to see a little showing of the bubbles and the bath water, feel free to stay till the end of this video because that'll be tagged onto the end of this. Uh, but if you're just here for the review, that is all done now. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope to see you on another Lush video really soon. Bye for now. So here are some of the bubbles from the Candy Cane Reusable Bubble Bar for 2021 Christmas. Pretty decent bubbles, pretty similar to the cinnamon roll, which I recently did a review on as well. The water is this sort of pinky peachy color. It's really pretty, quite appropriate with the scent and everything. So yeah, and the strength of the scent is pretty good too. Thanks for watching.